In May 2020, Google Drive released a new sharing experience that separates who the file is shared with in the share with people and group and the permissions on the link in Get Link. Here's how those sections work. To give a person or Google group specific access to a file, under Share with People and Groups, type the person or group, choose their level of access. To send them an email, keep Notify People checked and add a description of what the file is or why you're sharing it, and click Send. Change a person or group's access by clicking the drop-down to Change Level of Access. Set the commenter or viewer access to expire or completely remove access. Click the gear for additional options. Check or uncheck whether editors can change sharing settings and share, and or whether viewers and commenters can see the option to download, print, and copy. At the bottom, under Get Link, are link permissions. Click Copy Link to copy it and send it to someone who already has access, for example. It also shows who can use the link to access the file and, if applicable, at what level of permission, viewer, commenter, or editor. For restricted, only the people or groups you specifically shared with above can access the file with the link. Click Change, and then for Stony Brook University, anyone who has the link and Stony Brook University Google account can access the file. You can allow anyone at Stony Brook University to access as as viewer, commenter, or editor. For anyone with a link, anyone who has the link can access the file, and similarly, you can allow anyone with a link access as viewers, commenters, or editors. You'll notice as you change permissions here, the link's background changes color to help you see the different sharing levels. When permissions are Stony Brook University, click the gear to specify whether people in Stony Brook University can search for this file. Only check this box if you really want anyone at Stony Brook to, to be able to not only view, but also search for and find your file. As always, the icon in the top right corner of a file shows how files are shared. Mouse over it for more information, and keep your eye out for anything that's shared too much. Here are some more tips. Here's how to find files that might be shared too openly. In Google Drive, click on the drop-down. For Owner, select Owned by Me. For location, choose visible to anyone at stonybrook.eu, click select, and then search. Here you're going to find files that are shared so that anyone in your domain can view and find it. If you don't want that, right click on it, click share to change the link and remove that. To email people who already have access to the document directly from the file, go to File, Email Collaborators. Select what roles, who you want to get it, and send yourself a copy, add a message, and send. Finally, you can even share Drive files right from Gmail. When you're ready to send your email, click on the Drive icon and find the file in Drive you'd like to attach, or use the upload function to upload a file and add it to Drive right away. Once you've added it, if this file isn't shared with your recipients, once you click send, you'll be prompted that someone doesn't have access, but you can share it with them at a specific level right from Gmail. Click send and you know your email is sent and the file is shared.